I know you got, there's a language barrier, but try to talk in like your normal tone, because you know, just because she doesn't speak English doesn't mean she's like child. Okay. It's kind of scary. The two most important people in my life, they're not just meeting, they're also going to be living together. On today's episode, we're going to go over Clayton and Annalise. So this is going to be in Kentucky. I'm kind of excited to go over this couple. I've been a little uh, back and forth with everything. I think Clayton's living situation is definitely going to take a big impact on the relationship. However, you would be surprised on how relationships go. So I do feel that as long as they want to make it work, it'll work. Now, Clayton's mom, on the other hand, I think is really going to turn the tables in this relationship. So we're definitely going to see how that goes today. And of course, I'm always going to ask you guys, comment down in the comment section to let me know, do you think they're going to make it to their wedding? And do you think they're going to make it in general? So of course, I'll give my take at the end. And I hope you guys enjoy this video and give it a thumbs up. Let's get started. This is probably the craziest thing I've ever done, bringing someone to live with me in America, whom I've only met a couple of times in person. Also have a little shirt. And this is a picture of us. This is one of our little sayings. Te amo al infinito. Well, first off, Clayton seems like a really nice guy. However, I know y'all seen that game and setup, okay? So I really take it that he's not really a very social person. However, I don't think he's an ugly guy. I think Annalie and him make a really good match. She seems really sweet. So does he. Again, I am glad that he knows Spanish. I will give Clayton that. There is not many couples on this 90 Day Fiance show that take the time to learn the language of their loved one, which is crazy to me thinking of. How can you truly love somebody and expect them to learn your language when a lot of them won't learn theirs, which is such an American thing. So I'm not really surprised, but I am happy that Clayton has learned Spanish for Annalie. In on it. Yeah, so that's good, but... In her case, it would be estas. 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 Try to just, I know you got, there's a language barrier, right? I'm going to be translating for you, but try to talk in like your normal tone because, you know, just because she doesn't speak English doesn't mean she's like a child or a, a, an animal, that. but just like talk how you normally talk to me. Okay. Looking forward to meeting her. In this clip, Clayton's asking his mom what Spanish does she know and pretty much saying like, hey, just because she doesn't know English very well, don't talk to her like she is a slow child because she's not. I think that is really nice of him to try to make sure she understands like how to treat her and what he expects of her. Don't get me wrong, I am all about supporting your parents because at one point they supported you, they took care of you, they fed you. So if you didn't know, his mom has been living with him for I believe the past three years, which I know she moved in intentionally just until she could get on her feet. And three years later, she's sleeping in a closet with two dogs. Now, please don't ask me how that lasted three years. I have no idea. The closet is so small, it's unreal. And the fact that he's bringing Annalie to the States to share a room with her, of course, it'll be him and her. But just to know the mother is in a closet is very odd. And I do feel like the mom is a little bit standoffish with her in the whole process, which I'm not really fond of. But I do feel like Clayton really needs to kind of lay down the wall with his mom. Like, look, we should have put a time frame on it. I can help you in X, Y, and Z. But as far as living here, and why would you want your mom living in a, in a closet anyways? I have no idea. And also not just that, like Clayton's house is really cluttered. There's not much sitting room. There's no dining table. He even makes comments that his mom's a hoarder. So I just think all in all, it's just not going to be a great fit. Well, algo pasa. Tienes que cuidar a tus cuyes porque puedo tomar uno y comerlo. <laughs> I just want to say this comment was really funny that Emily made. So she pretty much told Clayton, like, look, you make me upset. I'm going to end up cooking your guinea pig and eating it. Which, of course, Clayton came with the comeback, which is cool that they have like that humor and style back and forth between the two. And neither one of them are like super sensitive. So I do think that they are a good match compatibility wise. I just think Clayton's living situation is not going to play out well, which it wouldn't with anyone. Chocolate. So is that cocoa butter? Hi, cocoa. Cocoa butter. Come on, cocoa butter. Hi, Ellie. Hi, Ryan. Hey, Chocolate. Nice to meet you. Tama. I think Annalise's face speaks volumes because it was very odd the interaction that she got as soon as she walked in the door. So they just got back from the airport. 
Clayton came and picked her up. They had their cute little interaction. And of course, as soon as they get in the apartment, the mom's just sitting there with this creepy grin on her face and just says, Te amo, which of course, I think that she had good intentions behind it. However, it was just a little soon. You could have just said, hi, uh, nice to see you. Even if you said it in English, like giving her a hug, it really could have been that simple. Um, but again, I mean, I know the mom's trying, but it was definitely a little odd. So in this clip earlier, Clayton does say he doesn't know what's going to happen if his mom and Annalie do not get along because he will not evict his mother. And I think that he is so right in a way, like you shouldn't just evict your mother. You should help her get in the process of getting on her feet and getting out. I do think it's your responsibility to really ensure that she's able to live her own life just as you are. Because if you know that it's going to conflict in your relationship and soon to be your marriage, I think it's really important that you just lay ground rules. And not only that, push and strive for your parents to be more independent like they would you as a child. Name Baby Pig. His name is yeah, Baby Pig. Pig. Who is your baby? He's scratching me. Lo primero que noto en este apartamento es que hay cosas por todos lados y realmente están abrumantes. So as you can see, Annalie has been in this apartment for maybe less than five minutes and she can already tell how much clutter and stuff is in this apartment. Now clearly, he doesn't have a loft or a big sized apartment and it's only a one bedroom, so I don't expect it to be very large. However, to have that much space for guinea pigs or to even have as many animals and critters, including people in there, it's a little insane if you ask me, but then again, Clayton is Clayton and men can deal with certain things that maybe women can't. So again, if she's already noticing that five minutes in, it's got to be pretty rough. Que su perro duerma bien y que su cuy pueda divertirse y correr. Ellos están haciendo las cosas al revés. And my mom stays in here. Mi mamá vive aquí. Y... ¿Puedo ver? Yeah. Seguro. <laughs> Now, this is the closet that Clayton's mom sleeps in, and as you can see, it is literally the size of a small coat closet, okay? You can literally fit maybe, what is that, a twin-size mattress in there, a comforter and some pillows, and that's to the brim. So, it's kind of crazy how he says he wouldn't evict his mom, but I don't know why his mom has been content with sleeping in that space for three full years. I don't know how expensive it is in Kentucky, but it, it can't be that expensive, okay? And even if it is, get help from your son with rent. I mean, at this point, you might as well. Like, I think Clayton has a good paying job. I don't think he's struggling to make ends meet. But this is ridiculous. Like, I feel like this is just so... I, I don't even know what to think of this situation. I'm sure Annalie is really shocked coming from her country and seeing this. Habitación pequeño, pero funciona. Yeah, yeah, There's a lot of couples on this show who don't really prepare for their spouses coming from other countries to live with them, like Gino and Jasmine. Gino's situation was disgusting. Um, there was a lot of things wrong with that, but you could tell Clayton definitely picked up after himself, trying to make things feel homey and nice for her. So I'm going to give Clayton a round of applause for that one. However, first of all, the gaming setup is crazy. I think that's like three screens. So he has to definitely stream, which no shade to him. It's just kind of like, you're young. <laughs> the gaming world has definitely took over, but to each his own, I guess. But I will say the room looks tidy. Good job, Clayton. You made your girl feel at least like she is laying in a clean environment. So there's that have an intimate relationship too often with my mom 10 feet away but in the past if she's over and i'm having my girlfriend over well yeah you know i'll just leave or in this situation she might shut her door or turn the radio on we can turn some sound on and just you know no clayton we don't know because that is got to be the awkwardest thing as a woman to hope that there's enough sound drowning out and not only that, like having to be quiet as if you were like younger, I could understand at 19, 
um, 20, you know, whatever at the young age where you're trying to get out your parents' house, but let's be real, it's a lot harder to just get out on your own at that age. Don't think a lot of people can relate to that. Hoping that your mom leaves so you can have some cheeky cheeky time. (laughs) It's just, it's crazy. And I think that knowing that you were wanting her to move here to do this process, I really feel like he should have prepared for his mother to be able to transition out of the home. And not only that, Clayton has a sister, okay? You'll see her in a future clip, but Clayton does have a sibling. So the fact that the mom is not willing to go stay with the sibling kind of speaks volumes because I'm sure she might at least have a one bedroom. There's probably a closet there she can sleep in, right? Good night, Chiki. I figured after being apart for a few months that Anna and Lee would want to be intimate, but I guess not. Clayton, to expect intimacy from your girl, first of all, day one, she just got out of the shower. So they're getting ready to go to bed. He was playing his Rubik's Cube in the last clip, waiting on her to get out the shower. She gets out the shower, comes to bed. He's like, hey, you know, trying to do a little cutty cutty. She kind of shuts him down. Not going to lie. I don't blame her for shutting him down. One, she just flew from the other side of the country to be here, so I'm sure she is exhausted. Two, it's been a long and hard processing day, okay? I think she's taken in the fact of, like, she just left her family. It's going to be a while until she probably sees them again. Your mother is there, um, so there's no such thing as a long time or couple time. And another thing is your living conditions, not even just with your mother, but overall. She even said earlier in the video that the way he was living was opposite, as if he would want his animals to live comfortably versus himself, which I'm sure is a lot to take in. I'm sure she's figuring out a few things about Clayton that she, one, doesn't agree with, and two, is a little standoffish about, because at the end of the day, she wants to have nice things versus worrying about dogs having nice things or guinea pigs having nice things. Clayton is an animal lover and animals deserve that love, but at the same time, not to an expense to where you don't have nice things yourselves or you're living in clutter or filth or et cetera, et cetera. So I do feel like she is kind of taking those things into account and it's probably a lot for her to process. Cuando entró Brandy fue mi... Primera reacción, que ella es muy dulce y también. All right, so Clayton decides in Kentucky, um, whiskey is a big thing, or at least drinking is a big thing in Kentucky. So he decides to take Anna Lee, his mom, and meet up with his sister. So his sister one is actually really pretty. Um, not only that, she has a really bad attitude when it comes to Anna Lee during this interaction. And I'm really trying to figure out what's the animosity, like what's the problem. It's that Anna Lee, just like every other stubborn American, thinks that they're just trying to come over here for a green card and a better life. When to be real, look at Clayton's living situation. I don't think anybody is going to run and jump to an opportunity to lay up with a guy who plays video games more than he socially interacts, to be with a guy who refuses to kick his mother out even though she's been living in a closet for three years and only needed to get on her feet, to be with a guy who has all these animals and critters that he acts like are his children And once you start having kids, are you going to continue to put animals before them because you kind of put them before you? It's just those things like, I feel like for her to kind of be insensitive and say certain remarks to Annalie or questioning her love for her brother, I get it. You're wanting to make sure that person is meant to be for your sibling or make sure that person has real love for your sibling. But at the same time, Annalie just doesn't come off as the type to be using Clayton for certain reasons, at least to me personally. So I will say I think that his family is going to have a big impact on his relationship. I do hope that his sister does come around because she does seem like a really cool person once you get to know her. I just feel like in the beginning, she's really trying to fill people out and she has a very rude tone with things. His sister, I feel like it's how she says it, not necessarily what she says. So yeah. That is as far as I'm going to get with this episode. So this is episode six, season 10 with Clayton and Anna Lee. Comment down below if you guys think they're going to last. If so, do you think they're going to make it to marriage or you think they're going to be good in the end? Me personally, I feel like as long as they work together, keep open communication and really talk things out, they'll be okay. And I do think that they'll be okay. Now, will the relationship be happy all the time? No. Once the mother steps out and kind of gets on her own feet, I feel like the relationship will get healthier 
it will get better and it will be more impactful for the both of them versus them feeling very standoffish with each other because the awkwardness of the mother being in the home. But that's just my opinion personally. So make sure you comment yours down below. And until next time, guys, I'll see you.